Welcome back to MG Midget, the birth of a race car, capturing my journey from car restoration to the 2022 MG Car Club Speed Series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be fitting some seats and harnesses. So it appears to be a fairly simple task to put the seats and harnesses in. Uh, what we're going to be doing is going off the seat belt mounts that are here. Uh, we're going to need to put some mountings in the centre of the floor uh, for, for the harness. Uh, we're going to be going off the harness bar at the rear of the car uh, and we're going to need to drill four holes here for, for the seat to be mounted. So let's have a look at the order we're going to do that. So th these are the harnesses we're going to be using. They're uh, minimum five point harnesses uh, that we're going to be able to put onto the harness bar. And as you can see to attach the, to the car, we've got these clips here so they won't just connect to the bolted floor we're going to need to use some eyelets to be able to mount them up so what we've got over here is some 7 16 eyelets for that purpose and then uh, when we mount the seat to the floor uh, what we've got is some two inch uh, encapsulated nut washers here uh, we're going to mount those underneath the floor so to make sure that uh, in the event of the worst happening uh, the seat isn't just going to pull itself through the floor and uh, and uh, and cause cause damage or, or injury. So we've got various bits and pieces to fit. The seats I'm going to be using are Sparco Sprint 5 seats. Having a look at the forums, there seem to be a few options on seats that will fit into an MG Midget. The Sprint 5's coming out uh, quite favourably in the reviews. I like the styling of those, so I'm going to go with those. Uh, if I had a bigger budget then the uh, the tillet seats do get extremely good reviews and uh, a lightweight as well that's an added benefit uh, but tend to be a bit more pricey and uh, very few come available second hand so uh, I'm not going to be using those as, as first choice this time around so uh, let's have a look what we're going to do first so first up let's get these uh, 7 16 eyelets mounted into the car So next up, I've dropped one of the seats in. You can see here we've got some fairly good clearance here. Clearance to the roll bar up at the top. And then just used some, some Tipex correction fluid, just a mark on the floor where the bolts are going to go through. Uh, so next up is a drill through the floor uh, to, to make the holes for the bolt and also marked up you can probably just about make out there uh, a hole for the center of the floor so we'll cut a hole in the carpet and then we can put our, our fifth strap through there as well so uh, let's drill some holes So now we've got our holes drilled in the floor, we can begin to mount up the centre uh, eyelet. So that'll be uh, a washer, an eyelet, and uh, one of the underneath supporting plates that will go underneath the car. And here's the central eyelet fitted for the fifth strap on the harness. So I've got a hole in the carpet, drop the carpet back down. We've got our holes for the seats in place so next up we can uh, fit the harnesses ready before the seat can go in
So with the harnesses fitted in now, all that remains is to drop the seat in, mount the screws that I have through some large washers and then into the uh, large encapsulating uh, plates underneath the car. Uh, and then that will be this side done once the harnesses are threaded through the seats. So now with the seats in place and all tightened up, you can see the supporting plates underneath the car and you can see that mounted onto the floor. I fed the harnesses through the holes in the seat. So there is our completed five point harness uh, ready to go. So that's the driver's side seat and harnesses all mounted up. Uh, all I've got to do now is repeat the entire process for the passenger side. So there we have now two seats mounted into the car, harness is fitted, need some last adjustments, uh, but that, that can be done a bit later on, but that's that job ready to go, so we can move on to the next one. <laughs> 